Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for August 1st through August 15th. Happy August, everybody, and yay, we made it out of eclipse season. Hopefully that wasn't too rough on you. Uh, welcome back, subscribers. Thank you for all the likes, subscribes, and comments. It truly makes me so happy how active you guys are on the channel, so thank you for that. It truly does help the videos go further and the messages spread to whoever they are meant for, um, for their highest good. If you would like a personal reading, the link is below. It's very simple. You'll just book directly through my website, and I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy so it doesn't matter where you live in the world I literally have clients all around the globe at this point so the link below has all the information about the distance energy healing and therapy and I have a great 15% discount for first-time energy clients so you can definitely take advantage of that you'll also see on my website I have a woman named Elaine who is available for distance energy healing as well she's very wise and very gifted so you can read about her on my website you can schedule with her or with me whoever or whatever resonates with you the best is most important um, you'll also see below the link for instant go if you just have a single uh, quick question and don't want a full reading so that's it for shop talk we will get straight into the readings now Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for August 1st through August 15th. I've already fully shuffled, so we are just going to get straight into it. We are building to the full moon in Aquarius. Whoop on August 15th. So your full moon. That's very exciting. Okay. First out, Aquarius, we've got the Queen of Cups. Okay. I'm feeling like this is not you. I do feel this is somebody that you are dealing with. So this can be a romantic partner, um, a friendship, a family member, someone in your life. But it's almost like you're feeling a sense of disconnect with this person. And I'm not sure where that is coming from or why I'm feeling that, but it's almost like I feel a question of where has this person gone or why aren't they acting the way that they used to act with me or what has shifted? Like I just, I like see question marks, okay? So whoever this is for you, there is something that has shifted or changed in this connection. Again, for each of you, that will be different um, because I've also got the nine of wands out here, which is fear, okay? It's fear of going back or making the same mistakes. It's like there's a wall that's been put up. So either you've put up a wall or this person has put up a wall. You can see their back is to uh, this nine of wands. It's almost like they're trying to just focus on their own love and happiness and, and things in their life. Like there's a lot of focus around this one cup here. And I almost feel like this person is like viewing and like peering over and like trying to see like what's over there, what's going on in that cup. Okay, so for some of you there, and I don't like to say this, but it's coming through, so I have to, there is some jealousy or some, some envy around you or you're feeling that with someone in your life like I just see somebody like trying to see in like get into your business or you're trying to get into their business so there's something going on here and it has to do I feel like with love and happiness and there's a lot of focus on that one cup and it's gonna take some action steps so if you do have jealousy or envy of someone or of something Take that back, take your power back and, you know, look at what action steps you would need to do and take in your own life to create something like that for yourself, okay? Instead of sitting over here, kind of hiding behind your fears, your doubts, your insecurities, wishing and hoping things would change but not willing to do the work for it, that is like a very powerless place to be. So I feel like you're being guided to... 
shift your perspective, you can create whatever it is that you want, Aquarius. So what are the action steps that you would need to take to create your ideal job, your ideal relationship, your ideal living situation, whatever that is for you. Let me see what else we've got here. Ah, okay. So something to do with patience. So the two cards that fell out together, seven of pentacles, eight of cups. Hmm. There's like an impatience that I'm feeling. Like you, you want it and you want it now. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice if it could work that way? But I do feel the seven of pentacles is asking for patience. You've planted the seeds. And if you haven't planted the seeds, now is a good time. We have the super new moon in Leo. It's the first of three super new moons. So really powerful time of planting new seeds and moving forward and getting more in alignment with what it is that you wish and desire for. Okay, so plant the seeds and then you don't need to take any steps, right? You can just ground yourself down, know that you've put it out there and let the universe work its magic in lining things up to bring it for you. But you're gonna have to be aware of, yes, you can plant these new seeds, but you've also got to leave behind things that aren't in alignment with what you're trying to create. For example, if you're trying to create a really beautiful new relationship or partnership, you have to leave behind these little connections with guys or girls that, you know, are just kind of like there for fun or you just throw out a message here or there because they're bored or you're bored or you haven't fully healed from those relationships. It's hard to start something new when some of your energy is still over here. Uh, it, that can also go the same with like a new work situation. You could be saying, I want a new job, okay, but you haven't done the necessary steps that you will need to do to let go of your current job, right? Or to uh, like detach yourself from the current workplace so you can create a space and opening for the new opportunity. I hope this is making sense for you guys. Um, but you're going to have to leave something behind. And I feel like what you're leaving behind is things that have not been working for you or things that aren't making you, you happy anymore or things that maybe are keeping you in a stuck place. Okay, so these two, these two cards are pretty powerful together. It's like plant the seeds of what it is that you want to create. Leave behind what's maybe in the way or blocking you from that. And then look at this, here comes the offer. That's how the universe works. So the offer will come in once you do the work in planting the seeds and removing blocks or attachments to things that just aren't in alignment with what you're trying to create. Okay, so we've got the Knight of Cups here. This is definitely an offer coming in, but it's a strong offer, okay? It's more solid, it's more uh, long-term can be a love offer, job, living situation, whatever it is that you're trying to create. This is a general reading, so it'll be different for each of you. Um, but for a lot of you, I do feel this has to do with love because we have that Queen of Cups right at the beginning. So the offer comes in and let's see what else we've got. this card it's really about the blending of two extremes to get to that like very balanced place so it's the blending of masculine and feminine the blending of light and dark and it comes into complete harmony so with this knight of cups this offer or thing that you've been wanting to create I do feel like it wants to come in for you. For a lot of you, it's gonna be love because I've got the, the king of wands here. 
passionate, driven individual who knows what they want. This can be male or female. And they're looking for the same thing. They're looking for that same ultimate partnership or ultimate relationship that's balanced, that's teamwork, that's the blending of two souls into one. Okay, so for those of you who are trying to create love and a new relationship, the message here is you've got to clean up anything that's in the way of what you're trying to create. Okay, so that's letting go of attachments, getting complete on past relationships, um, any connections that you have that are just kind of there, but they're not contributing anything. Because we've also got the judgment and the fool card. So there's three major arcana cards in this final row down here, which is major growth and transformation. Remember I said you're going to have to filter out things that aren't serving you anymore and letting go of patterns and behaviors that aren't in alignment with what you're trying to create. So the judgment card asks for forgiveness, forgiveness for the self. It's also asking you to deal with those things in your life that need a little attention, a little awareness. Um, so there can be like a rebirth and a brand new energy. And then, look, you come out as the fool, like footloose and fancy three, free. You've gotten rid of the baggage. You've let go of what's been weighing you down. Look at where you were at the beginning of the reading. So huge transformation happening for you, Aquarius, in these first couple weeks of August. Judgment card can also be the you know, coming back together with a lover that you've been separated from, okay? If things needed to be cleaned up within that relationship. It's forgiveness on both sides and a new beginning, okay? That's not going to resonate with all of you, but for some of you, there will be a reconciliation. Maybe that's who you've been peeking in on. You've been trying to see who your past lover is is giving their cup to and you're envious and you're jealous you want their cup but that's not going to get their cup you've got to clean up whatever feeling that is that you've got around there and this eight of cups is in the center of the reading so there's a lot of energy around this card and it's got the full moon which we've got the full moon in aquarius on august 15th okay so you're coming out in a good place I do want you to know that, Aquarius, because you're going to be letting go of the baggage. Look at how light the energy is on this fool card. So letting go of, yeah, letting go of the baggage. I don't know why I'm feeling that. Maybe that's what I'll name the video. Okay, let me see if there's any last messages for you. Yes, beautiful. The last message is celebration and look at that full moon. You are totally supported, Aquarius. So what you're working towards, this sadness, um, this feeling of lack or missing, you're, you're going to be clearing that and letting that go and getting more in alignment with what it is that you want to create instead of putting your energy either into the past or into things that just haven't been working. And building to this full moon, whew, use that energy to clear all this stuff out, okay? Because you are going to be feeling so light and so free and so ready to be more in alignment and on your highest and best path, okay? Beautiful reading. I hope that resonates with you. If not, you can watch your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus, or your Jupiter, Thank you for the comments below the video. I love reading all your comments, so thank you for taking the time to do that. And if you'd like a personal reading, the link is below. You'll book directly through my website. And again, I am a master energy therapist, and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live in the world. I have clients everywhere at this point, which is really beautiful. So definitely take advantage. I have a 15% discount for first-time energy clients. Uh, so you can take advantage of that. And you'll see on my website, you can schedule with me or you can schedule with Elaine, who is also a master energy therapist, and she's available for you as well. So you can schedule with her or with me. Uh, whatever resonates with you the most is what's most important, okay? So I think that's it, Aquarius. I'm wishing you a great first half of August, and I will see you guys back here for the second half of August readings. Take care.